Hi at all, so welcome back, and if you are new, hello, my name is Jessie, and today we are going to react to Season 1, Episode 1 of Hellbound. I am excited for this. I came across this very short teaser on Netflix. It was suggested to me by Netflix. I found it very interesting. It looked very creepy, and I had not heard anything about this at all prior to me seeing this teaser which was about four or five days ago, and this just came out today. So I found that interesting. Again, I know absolutely nothing about it aside from the short teaser I saw, and then I also found out today that it's from the same director who did Train to Busan that I absolutely loved. I am a zombie freak, let alone a horror freak, so I really, really enjoyed that which got me even more excited for this. Something about the first 10 minutes being absolute gore fest insane. So the horror heart in me is very excited. So we're just gonna jump in, but before we do, don't forget to throw a like or just like if you do or do not like what you see, but comment down below, let me know why subscribe. If you have not yet, we do fun things here. Ring a ling a ling, that'll also be notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon, it is $5 a month, it's $1.25 a week, and it has all of my unedited reactions of everything that I do on YouTube in addition to more. I will be reacting to the full season of this, it's only six episodes, and I will also obviously be finishing Cowboy Bebop because been waiting for that for a while so if you want the full unedited reactions of those you want them quicker than they will be on youtube go check out the patreon also don't forget to follow us on instagram tiktok and twitter at star underscore chef underscore productions but without further ado this is season one episode one of hellbound <sighs> taking a deep breath in because it's supposed to be mass chaos for the first 10 minutes <laughs> Oh, and also, one more thing. I heard that if you are sensitive to topics of religion, that you may not enjoy this series, which is ironic because I'm sure you see that I am wearing a cross. I am actually not religious. This is more of a sentimental Thing. Uh, it's my mother's. It's a Celtic cross. And that is why I wear it. I don't have anything against anybody who does have faith or, or is very religious. That's just not me. I feel like I should say that since they made it a point to say that religion is a topic. And I will be watching the original version with subtitles. It's so uneasy right now. 야, 같이 봐. 너네끼리 공야. 누구 누구 당신은 몇날 몇시에 죽는다. 그리고 지옥에 간다. 그리고 그 시간이 되면 처음 접하시는 분들께는 상당히 충격적이고 <웃음> 요즘에 이런 걸로 낚여지는 사람이 있냐? 야, 요즘 이거 믿는 사람이 더 많거든. 야, 이거 다 시질한. That guy does not look good. Do other people get hurt in the process, or is it just him? Because sitting in a coffee shop may not be a good idea. Three more hours and that would have been such a happy time. Shopping now? Like they used a white car to the blood spider. Well then. It's interesting they're showing the skeletons. One. Yeah, you don't really need a title after an entrance like that. Uh. 
실시는 보조 보조. Dude, read the room. 보조. 어 자세한 구검 결과는 나와봐야 알겠지만. 뭐야 저기? 지금 현장 단서. He was like, I'm paying attention now. 야 진경 핸드폰 그만 봐 임마. 다 설명하잖아. 새 진리. 근데 저게 사람이 맞긴 한 거예요? 일단 잡아. Bring it in. 커피숍 있던 사람들 신문 시작하고. 쓸데없는 소문이 더 나지 않게 기자들한테 입 조심하고 자극은 하지 말고 yeah. 종교 단체 잘못 쓰시면 골치 아프다. Does he mean bring 아, one of those mo like the yeah. the demon hulks in like? <laughs> oh, something happened. 왜 형사가 현장 안 다니면 뭐 하라고요? 야 걔네가 세질이야? 아니 근데 이 화살 촉이 인터넷으로만 활동하는 게 아니던데 나타나서 죽을 시간을 예언하고 그 시간이 되면. 지옥의 사자들이 나타나서 지옥에서 느낄 고통을 시연하는 사라진다고 합니다. 우리는 심심 미약이는 온갖 걸로 다 빼주고 씨. There's a case that did not go in his favor. I'm assuming. I want to see what the angels look like. 목격자 얘기로는 타액도 막 흘렸다는데 안 나와 발자국들도 없고 다섯 시간 후에 지옥에 간다는 것을 천사를 통해 예언을 듣습니다. 그리고 정확히 다섯 시간 후의 영상입니다. They don't just drag it out. 이 남성의 집에서 매장된 시신 세 구가 발견되었습니다. So he was in the killing people. 6년 전 니카라가 아동 약치 살해. So it's like bad people. 이 시신들은 강절도, 사기, 특수 감각, 방화, 정신적 결함이 있어서. 술을 마셔서 약에 취해서 수치심, 죄의식, 참회, 속죄를 잃어버렸습니다. 너희는 더 정의로워야 한다. 부장님, 오늘 수고 많으셨습니다. 네, 고생하셨다. 오늘 있었던 시험 말씀하시는군요. <웃음> 제가 뭘 도와드린 거예요? 아... 어? 너 지금 학원에 있었던 거 아니야? 너 여기서 지금 뭐 하는데 지금? 회장님 들어가 보겠습니다. 아 조심히 가요 회장 씨. 고마웠어요. He's got a hold his daughter. 회장 씨 아버님이 경찰이란 이야기는 들었는데 봉사 활동하면서 몇번 만났는데. This guy's a cheeky dick, but I kind of like him. 무슨 신흥 사이비 종교 교주 이런 거 상상하면서 오셨나 보다. 저 그런 거 아닙니다. 아니요 괜찮습니다 앉으세요. 아이고. 안 주시지. 감사합니다. 어떻게 죽을까 고민하면서 스무 살이 되기를 기다렸어요. 스무 살은 왜? 그래서 티베트의 초원으로 갔죠. So every great religious story starts. I went on a journey. So the force of them just kind of throws you back. They would have killed him. They would have stomped on him. 그때가 제 삶에 의미가 처음 부여된 순간이었습니다. 시질리회가 화살촉이라는 단체랑 깊은 관계가 있다고 말한 사람들도 있던데 아무래도 저희가 하는 이야기를 좀 급진적으로 받아들이는 친구들이 있는 것 같아요. 아니, 말씀대로라면 그 신은 인간의 자율성을 믿지 않는 거 보네. 형사님 아내분이 살해당한 사건. 법의 처벌을 받고 사회에 복귀해서 잘 살고 있지 않나요? 그럼 사회 비교주가 보통 사람이겠냐? Still calling him a cult leader. I mean, as long as it stays to where it's rapists and murderers getting taken, that's fine. 광신도나 그런 거 아니고 그냥 호기심에 강의 몇번 들으러 간 거야. 걱정 안 해도 돼. Ah, uh, hashtag alive. Okay. He's an hashtag alive. That's so hard. I'm 
Maybe you should, lady. If you need a rest, you rest. Tell me it's the angel. Is it an angel? Have I been YouTubing wrong? So creepy, but it is interesting. Oh god, it's the arrowhead? He's so crazy. Accomplishments? That's the author? Holy shit! Okay, I lied. I don't like him anymore. Okay, sir. <laughs> As I assumed that. I think they bring justice to the world. 아저씨, 세질리회 신의 의도는 한 번이라도 읽어 봤어요? 신의 사자니 뭐니 그런 건 아니죠. He's, is he starting to believe it? Go back to that lady that saw the angel. That did not look like an angel. What did she do? It's crazy that everyone can actually see it. It's not hidden. By the way, if you haven't seen Hashtag Alive, it's freaking awesome. 그래서 뭐라든가요 거기는? 생방송으로 중계를 하고 싶대요. 제가 지옥에 가는 순간을. Well, I'm hooked. All right, so there you have it. Episode one of Hellbound, and I am hooked for sure. To start with, that's not a freaking angel, okay? I was so curious if they were gonna show us an angel and what it looked like. That's creepy as shit. Doesn't sound like an angel either. It's like, oh, 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 oh. when you think an angel, you think soft and delicate and light and happy and cheery. At least I do. That is not happy, soft, light and cheery. It's scary. It's got red glowing eyes. We have the new, I keep wanting to say the new order, like the Star Wars fan in me wants to. So the new order. And the arrowheads. Now, the arrowheads are basically a cult. It's ironic because they keep calling our friend, the cult leader, a cult leader. And so he's, he, they keep saying the cult leader and the cult and the, this new religion. And they keep calling that a cult. And the arrowheads, they are basically a cult. They are definitely a cult. They're going out kidnapping people, beating them to death because the new truth is saying that these people that don't believe in God and following God and try to be good people are going to be bound for hell for their sins. So they, the arrowheads basically think that they're assisting in the new truth. And they're, I don't think they are. I think it's just a bunch of young, stupid kids who think it's fun to go around beating people up. And they're using the new truth as an excuse to do so. So those those people are freaking psychopaths. Those kids that they all have that are that they arrested are absolutely psychotic. They're just dumb kids looking for some thrills and it's sick. But the new truth actually believes in this. The new truth actually believes that this is an angel 
coming down to warn you that you are bound for hell. So now my question is, okay, if you believe that, why are they warning you? So that you could try to change? So that you could repent for your sins and possibly not be bound for hell? Like escape hell or revert back to good ways so that they don't come and get you? Is that what this is? Otherwise, what's the point of them coming to tell you to like appreciate your last days? If I was in this world and I was seeing this happen, I wouldn't necessarily rule the new truth out. But knowing how crazy eyed he is when he talks and when he when he explores these different areas of what he feels and how he interprets things you can see there's a twinge of of psycho in him like something's off there's something off but he pleads a very good case and he is very convincing he's very very convincing but then again like that would be if i actually saw for demonic hulks beat the living tar out of a man and then burn him into hell so it is very ironic that there is a connection between all the people that are being dragged into hell that they are actually terrible people it's not just like oh like this guy you know went to jail for well they did say fraud actually and one of them was fraud the the two that i picked up on were fraud and robbery and theft everything else was like uh very very sick and sadistic and rapist murders you know and that i understand but like the fraud and the robbery like how bad was it is this like bernie made off fraud where you like ruin people's lives or i guess i'm trying to figure out what the level of severity these hellbound people are are they like they, they seem to be really really bad people it's not like a kid stole a candy bar and now he's bound for hell so i'm curious to see what this girl did who just found out that she's bound for hell and how severe her sins were i'm curious to see they keep talking the, the arrowhead the leader of the arrowhead that creepy man was talking about how they people need to figure out what is what are this new guy's sins are what his sins the guy that just died what his sins are what his sins are i'm curious to see if they figure that out or if they find out that there were no sins i think the dynamic between the good cop bad cop buddy cop stuff is funny uh it's it's it, not funny but it's is interesting because it really is like a good cop bad cop you have his friend who's doing all the interviews trying to find out information taking things really seriously and then you have our main guy who is this very sad, depressed, lonely person. You find out that his wife was murdered. And there's definitely more to that story. I know he was reading something that said murder got off after six years or got released after six years. I'm curious to see if they give us more information about that. Who the person was, where they are now. Him and his daughter is interesting too. You know, their lives were changed since she died. And they're trying to figure out how to coexist and live with each other, but... It's very, very hard when you're both grieving and going through your own emotions after something so tragic like that. So it's interesting to see that he kind of turned to drinking but cleaned himself up a bit and she is turning to this new religion. I wonder how in depth that is going to go with her. Overall, I think it was a great solid first episode. I'm definitely, definitely hooked. I am actually going to jump right into the next episode because that was very, very interesting and I want to see where this goes. Um, I think the CGI looks great. Um, I think it's really crazy that they they actually beat the people before they drag them to hell. You're th you think that, like, you know, you're going to spend eternity in hell, so that's good enough. No, they beat you to death. So, uh, yeah. I liked it. I really, really liked it, and I, I, I want to know what that girl did, so I hope they let us know in the next episode. Everyone, throw a like up or dislike if you do or do not like what you see, but comment down below, let me know why, subscribe if you have not yet, we do fun things, so ring a ling a ling little time to notify when I upload new videos. Don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at star underscore chef underscore productions. But that is it. So long, everyone. Try to make someone smile today. You never know when you might need it next. Bye.